Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start rebooting work using UAE path. In today's session, we are going to discuss about get form task. So first, let me understand what is the use of a get form task basically. So get form task will help you to get the particular task from the action center to the studio. So it may be like uh, pending or it may be unassigned and it may be completed state. So this get form task will help you to query and get your particular state which actually you are looking for. So this will be the expression which we will be going to use in our get form task. So let's go to the action center. So here we can see 16 tasks which is already we have completed on our previous session, right? So what you can do now, so let me try to create everything new so that you will have a good idea actually on this. So if you didn't watch our previous video also, it will help you to go through and recap you what actually we are doing. So I just deleted each and every results which are previously there. So which is completed. So as of now, we can see that so it is null, right? So we don't have any task which is in pending or assigned or completed. So what you can do, so we can use the existing framework and we can push the task over here based upon that. So we can use a get form task which help you to get the particular task into the studio. Let me jump to the UI path studio. So this is the framework which I have built previous sessions. So what you can do here, so I'll just try to switch my workspace now. So I'll just try in a new workspace so that you, you can have exposure on each and everything. So I just moving to default now. So you may be wondering, so where these particular options are there actually. So let me give you a quick recap. So in orchestrator, you can see those. So let me open the orchestrator. Right click, open as a new. So our orchestrator got loaded now. So here you can see, right, the services uh, which are there. These are the folders which you can see here as a resource. So as of now, I'm just going to use a default. What I will do, actually, I will just go to the action center. I will just create a catalog over there. Let me go to the action center. Let me close this one. So action center, let me go to the admin settings. So in admin settings, so if you remember, in admin settings only, we can create our action catalog. So let me go to the default. So in default, so we are going to create our action catalog. So what is action catalog? So which we are going to use is HRA approval. Yeah, we can use this, right? And then, so if you want to make any description, you can make it. So I don't want as of now. Let me click on create. So I just, I have created my action catalog in, under the default folder. So why I was creating under the default folder, so I was going to use the resource, which is default folder. So just copy this, okay? Just go back to your path studio. So what you can do here in under the action catalog, so you can mention this particular catalog. Yeah, perfect. So this is the framework which are predefined. We have built in our previous session. Just I have changed the resources now default, and then I just created a action catalog in the default folder. That's it. So let me save this and let me run this. So that a new task will be created over there and it will be completed. So after it get completed, so what you can do? So we can try to get the task from the action center. So it is asking for an input. So let me provide 7000. Click on OK. So let me try to run both the scenarios, OK? So which is positive and which is negative. I guess our bot got ran. Perfect. So let me try to run a negative scenario as well. Try to enter the input. So I will just try to enter 8000 now. So which will be negative. Yeah, I guess it's done. Yeah, perfect. So let me go to the action center now. Let me go to the inbox so why we don't have any pending tasks so we have used an assign activity which help you to assign those particular tasks into the uh, pending state right so as we already know that so if a task in unassigned state we cannot able to complete those right so that's why we used a add to collection and assign task which help you to assign the task from unassigned to pending so it's moved to the pending. So from the pending, so it got completed since we have used our complete stat activity, right? So here, let me go there. So you can see this particular task got approved since the user entered 7,000 amount. So it got approved. Let me go to the second scenario. 
so user has entered 8000 so it got rejected now right okay so we have run our execution now so we are going to use our get form task activity to get this particular task into the studio now so what you can do here so we can comment of all this activity and try to use our get form task activity otherwise what you can do so we can create a new sequence where we can uh, try to work on our uh, get form task over there so get form task click on create so because like commenting of these particular activities will take time right so that's, uh, that's why I just created a new uh, sequence now so what you can do here is try to search for the activities so which under the task you can see something called as get form task right so which help you to get the task from the action center so here you can see there will be several parameters which is required for this get form task so you can see here which is select query so what actually we are going to select what you are going to get from the particular id so which is task so it may be id or it may be status title priority so these are the factors we can get from the particular task so and then so filter so how do you are going to filter so you need only the unassigned task or pending task or like completed task so what actually you are looking for so you can apply a filter over here as well so let's start uh, pouring the inputs now so here as i said so be very cautious about this syntax what actually they have provided so which is status equal we have to provide in the same format actually so what you can do here let us make a double quotes okay so status eq and then so what the particular status you are looking for actually now so it may be like completed or it may be unassigned or any task so let me give a single quotes here you have to provide it may be completed so le let me give a completed here okay perfect right so what actually i was expecting here i was expecting only the completed task which is those two tasks which need to be pulled over here okay that is my motto actually i just provided a filter and then select query so what actually you are going to select over here so it may be id or it may be a status title priority so we have several things right i just going to pull simple very simple id and then status yeah so that's enough that suffice for me so and then so action catalog so you can provide so if you need it so if you have an action catalog in your particular task creation you can directly go here and provide those so what i will do i'll just provide my action catalog since i have already created action catalog for this particular task just try to provide your action catalog perfect and try to create your output variables so using this output variable so we can iterate using the for each and you can get our task so since, since we have multiple values so we are going to iterate these things in a for each loop so control k and then let me name it as task get form task yeah perfect right yeah so here you can see which is called as list form task data right so the output which will be getting in a format of list form task data so which we are going to have a multiple value so we are going to iterate as we discussed we are going to iterate using the for each so let me try to use a for each and let me try to provide this output variable as input over here which is get form task and then so use a right line to print those particular task ids so let me enter item dot so once i clicked on dots the properties of action center should be visible here but we are not able to look those right so what is the purpose actually so what is the issue here actually so since we are not change the type argument of this particular for each we are not able to access the property of an action center here so what you can do now so let me try to change the type argument for the form task so let me try to change this particular argument as a form task now so let me click on browse for types so here we are going to type uh, so here we are going to find our particular type which you are looking for so UI path dot persistence dot activities so here under this so we can select our form task data just click over click on ok 
once you have selected the respective type argument so now you will be able to access our property here so let me click on dot so here you can see several properties right which is action action url so and then id so these are the properties which will be based upon the task which is created in the action center so here you can see so many things right so i will just try to go with the id now just click on dot to string so using the get form task what i have done here so i just use our catalog name and then filter and then i just use a select i just need a id and status so i just created an output variable along with that so i just try to iterate this one perfect right and one more thing so let me check everything okay so i just given a wrong catalog name so just try to provide the same just remove this and just type for the same catalog name yeah perfect right so let me try to save and let me run this I guess our execution is done. So let me go to the output panel. So here you can see two tasks got retrieved, right? So these are the two tasks. So which is 886 and 887. Let me go to the action center and check once. Go to the inbox. So we are going to crash verify the task ID. So which is created in the action center and which we got from the UiPath Studio. So here you can see 86 and 87. So I guess so the same task could be shown here, right? Perfect. So likewise, you can apply your filters if you want to get only unassigned. So you can mark it as unassigned here or only in pending. So you can mark it as pending here. So no need to do uh, much actually. So you can get your particular task which you're looking for. Also, you can just download it as an Excel now. So just click on these three dots and click on download action, which is help you to get your CSV file of all these actions. So you can just open, try to open that one. I guess you are able to see here, right? So action.csv. This will give the entire action. So what actually we are looking for, this particular task will be uh, like mocked in an Excel spreadsheet so that you can really access this in this way as well. So I hope you all uh, like the video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. Have a good day.